As we take a look at the evening ahead for any of the activities you have planned, you can see the wet streets in Jacksonville. Showers have been moving through as a cold front's headed in our direction at 63 right now with a southwest wind at 8. Here's the first wave of rain. Notice it even had some heavier showers earlier pushing off to the east. There's that area that went through Jacksonville. We'll run it one more time. You can see uh, that it's actually uh, started to diminish somewhat in its coverage as well. But there's still plenty back to the west that we'll be tracking over the next few hours. Right now, it's just light rain for most of the area. That's the green you're seeing. Maybe north of Pollocksville here, a little heavier shower. But again, that's going to continue to push on off. And then we do have uh, out over the water quite a bit of rain. This is the heavier rain in the yellows and the uh, oranges as well as the red. And look at this, even some lightning offshore as well. Another line just to the uh, west of Wilmington and Oak Island. And then as you head up uh, toward Greensboro, you can see that we have quite a bit of lightning there. Another line with lightning right along I-95. And all this is pushing to the east. So we'll certainly be keeping an eye on that over the next uh, couple of hours as that next round makes its way through. You can see uh, this area back near Charlotte has finally pushed off to the east. It did provide severe thunderstorm warnings back near Charlotte. And this continues down to Columbia, South Carolina. Again, it's pushing off ahead of that cold front that will push it on through. Here's the first wave passing through. Second wave wave. This is about 8 o'clock tonight. We'll swirl through and then uh, by about midnight or so we should start to pull all this off the coast and clear the skies out and it's going to be breezy as we head into tomorrow morning. So for tonight we'll go with those uh, cool or too chilly temperatures upper 40s low 50s inland and along the crystal coast the Onslow beaches and out on the outer banks. We're looking at the uh, 50s mainly the mid 50s. Those evening showers will give way to those clearing skies overnight. Now we were talking about about those gusty winds. Take a look at some of the wind gusts as we go through the daytime tomorrow. We're still going to be looking at quite gusty conditions that will continue through Saturday. Maybe set a little bit on Saturday night, but then as we get into Sunday, uh, still going to be breezy in some parts of the area. So keep that in mind as you get out and enjoy the outdoors. It may have a little bit extra of a coolness to it because of the breeze. Here we go with your Saturday. Just sunshine looking great. Should be great for any of the activities you have planned for Saturday. And again, look at the temperatures right around 70 degrees, just a little below where we should be. Breezy and pleasant with the winds out of the west at about 10 to 20. And it looks like tomorrow the ECU homecoming game 2 o'clock in the afternoon should be in pretty good shape. Just a little breezy there as well. And then for Sunday through Wednesday, just lots of sunshine and starting to warm back up. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in Oriental at 11 o'clock for the chili cook-off. I'm going to be a judge at that one, so come on out and enjoy some chili and say hello and let's chat and have a good time. But remember, grab a jacket because it will be windy, making it seem a little cooler.